so it's let's switch that to the off. I've just found a spring. Goodness knows what that spring was to. So it's day four and we're in Glasgow. Well we're not, we're in Greenock. But we're gonna attempt to get into Glasgow. I haven't been out here yet. It looks cold. And it is cold. Chilly. So apparently you can walk about 15 minutes, we'll let you know how long it is to walk to the train station and then we're going to then it's every half an hour the trains go into Glasgow and I think it's about seven pounds each way or something. I don't we'll have a look. Let's try and map it out and see what it's like as an option. I'll take a baseball cap because it's gonna be potentially raining. Um yeah, all right, just downloaded, just try to make sure I don't lose any of my footage. So I just downloaded that onto the hard drive. That's done, we got first lot. So that's good. All right, yeah, let's get this show on the run. Wednesday! And the animal is a big flamingo! <laughs> it's a flamingo! Yeah, when we did that little tour last week, but only because I don't come up and see it. Yeah. Right, so we're on the hunt for the train station. You walk out the port, which is really quite simple, and you just turn left past Tesco's, past KFC. And it's going to be about 15 minutes walk. Let's have a look. I'm walking down the dual carriageway until we get to we're a bit misty aren't we how are you walking down the dual carriageway until you get to Morrison's and then it's looking as though the train station is behind Morrison's so you'll see Morrison's um, on the yeah right hand side of the road you can see it there the train station is sort of up there you can see the tracks so let's try and get up there Oh, and it's raining. So you come out, turn left, follow the dual carriageway soon till you get to police station on one side. Morrison's on the other. Then you turn up the road. Oh, by the horse. There's also a horse statue over there. And it's just here, hopefully. Well, we'll get around this corner. And there's the anthem, so you can see the anthem in the distance there. So it gives you sort of about perspective on the walk. Yeah, the train station's there. And it's a flat walk, so it's no, it's not hilly or anything. The next station just got it. Uh, basically single seven pound, so. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. Simple enough. There are two train stations, <laughs> Greenock West and Greenock Central, and I think they're both about half a mile from the port. And then thinking about the time that you get, it's you know, we're on one that's 41 minutes. The next one will take you half an hour to go into. And they're coming about every 10 minutes. Go to, minutes, to Glasgow they? Central, and then I think there's a little walk then into the town. I think. Mm. This is it's going to Glasgow Central upper, so I presume. That yeah, I guess. And it's seven pound single or seven pound what return? Seven pound ten one way or seven pound forty return. So we bought a one way because we're clever like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't use the one coming back because we'll be too drunk and need a taxi. We're getting an Uber. So, yeah. This is Greenock Central. Greenock Central is a short
Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. So this is a town there, isn't it? I don't know. Didn't know Glasgow had a canal. Well, where we come in? The river. Oh yeah, it's a river, wasn't it? Concert hall. Oh. My shops. Yeah, this is nice. This would be nice down here at night. And clean. Yeah, it looks lovely. Might have a fun little cocktail bar, bird. Oh. Colour. What colour? Mm. Mm. Maybe red, it's cold. Cold? No. <laughs> it's wintry. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I've done it very well. So, nine tapas for £15 for three. It's not so. It's the same as yesterday. Yeah, it was the same as yesterday. So, cheers, bird. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy. Cheers. Wow, looks lovely, doesn't it? Mm. See you in a bit. So, where were we just a minute ago? Casa or thingy up? What was it called? And what? And what? And what? And what? And what? There's loads of restaurants and stuff down this road and now we're at the Citizen for some chocolate rolls. Let's have a look. Do they do chocolate espresso martini? Yeah. yeah. This would have been nice for lunch actually. These small plates. Yeah. Not that we need it now. But...
It's a 23 minute walk. Feet camera. Rosebud. This looks nice, doesn't it? And this is a shot of rosé champagne, as it Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. That's so nice. Yeah. Mm. Try that. It's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in the Citizen all day. Really nice, beautiful place. It's a good cocktails. And instead of it, we're being very lazy. So instead of it, we're being very lazy. So instead of walking back to the train station, get back on the train, ordered an Uber. So it says between 42 and 55. Earlier it was 33, so it does fluctuate on what time, but or we'll let you know how much it is, but just oh, eight minutes away. At least it takes us door to door. Just be a bit lazy about it. It's raining out there, so. We could have got home for 30p. We could have got home for 30p, yes, correct, Liz. 30p extra return to single. Could that. Give me a splash out. Instead, we get an Uber. Right, so we just got an Uber back. It's just cost us from the centre of Glasgow to here. £42.30, so not too bad. I mean, yeah, could have cost the uh, £7 on the train, but... I know, that's, I think that North Star would be quite good. But not in this weather, though. No. Um, it took us 45 minutes. Traffic wasn't too bad, but it got a bit heavy, so I definitely wouldn't leave it. Give, I'd give yourself an hour minimum to get back. I wouldn't leave it till the last thing, or... I mean, the trains would be more predictable than doing the taxi, because all it would have taken would be one crash or something. Not touch wood, no crashes, but one some hold up on the motorway, and you, you'd be in trouble. But yeah, back quiet, isn't it? Woo. Oh, I feel sorry for the people who went to locks today in this weather. Uh, evening three. No, it's evening four. God, where does time fly? Glasgow was fun actually. Glasgow's really good. I mean, it's so easy to get in and back by train. I mean, we, or even, yeah, as we proved in Uber, just make sure you leave at least an hour. Um, yeah, it was fun. It didn't do too much. I think we need to plan a little bit more ahead of what we want to see. Tomorrow we're going to see the Titanic Museum in Belfast, so that should be good. That gives us a focus. And then a book somewhere, because it's my birthday tomorrow. So, um, yeah, today we're in Chocks Grill. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much more of the same. Uh, let's see how it goes, what's the time now? Quarter past six, I'm tired. This bed is very, very hard. It's the one thing I don't like. The room's lovely, got loads of space and everything, but this bed's very hard. So I'm not sleeping too well in it. Um, so I'm a bit knackered a little bit at the time, but... Go, um, yeah, lovely, lovely. It's cold though, it's been very cold. Um, apparently it's really sunny at home, but... Oh, what do you expect? It's the end of, getting to the end of September, you know, could, shouldn't really be expecting anything else, so... There you go. Uh, yeah, see what's in this thing. No, 11.20, I'm going to bed, I'm tired. Oh, yeah, it's 11.20, going to bed. Tomorrow's my birthday, so I don't want to be hungover for my birthday. We're in Belfast, 
I want to do nice things. So, yeah. I'm in. Well, yeah. It's my birthday in a few hours, but. Oh, look, what have we got? It's like a graphy thing, isn't it? I don't know. Um, let's do that, let's do that.